So they would drop you off from the stadium. It's a free bus or coach ride. Walk through the symphony hall and you will come out the other side of the conference centre, symphony hall, and you just go over the bridge. Wonderful restaurants here. And you'll come to, as you know, my favourite place in Birmingham, Brindley Place. Privately owned, wonderful. The fountain, the big screen, food and drink. As I said, there are two scoops of ice cream, three, three pounds, but the uh, second food hut, I think you saw the prices, be warned. So yes, you've come through the Symphony Hall, you've never been to Birmingham before, you've got the bus to come into the centre from the stadium, even if it's just one person. But you don't want to miss the canals. Perhaps you've never been to Birmingham City. And if you have never been to Birmingham City, you know what they say, which is true, we've got more canals than Venice. You do not want to miss the beautiful canals. So getting off the bus, walking through Symphony Hall, coming to here is three minutes. Why would you want to miss the glorious canals? So I just wanted to show you. And here you have the Sea Life Centre. So if you Google Sea Life, you cannot miss it. Three minutes to four minutes walk from when you got off the bus. And this is stunning at night. And maybe you have never been to Birmingham and you're here for the whole Commonwealth Games. You would not want to miss this. And here you are. You can walk along the canals forever. <laughs> but don't. Lots of restaurants over there, reasonably priced wonderful bar over there and restaurant look at that and you do want to turn right at this bridge here and it's about a 15 minute walk to the mailbox and you need to go in there it's been decimated by covid but there are some restaurants still open in there and it's a wonderful place to visit so walk along there for 15 minutes and you will come to the mailbox and you make your way back within seven or eight minutes back to where you came from the symphony okay. hall one quick apology for our muffled voice mask you know the you know the system great little restaurant there for a drink not the best service in the world at the, the Rep Theatre, I have to warn you. Um, I was in the service industry most of my life, and I'm sorry to say that their service in the Rep Theatre leaves much to be desired. But it's a very nice place to go, usually very quiet, nobody bothers you, have a tonic ice and lemon for two pounds and they do nice meals now so the food is pretty good i had a baguette i think it was 4.95 with some salad very reasonably priced but service indifferent it's funny it's one of those situations you know when you go it's not a good service or a bad it's just indifferent it's um Oh, I can't really be bothered to serve another customer, but I will. So you, you, couldn't, you can't complain. It's sort of on the borders. And I would very rarely, although I would if one had to, because I don't want these businesses to suffer. You will know from my videos, I care passionately about Birmingham and local businesses, and I care passionately about helping them. Here are guys, day five. Look at this. <laughs> Isn't it unbelievable? Yes, I know you've seen the ball, 
But look, he's on and he, he's very annoyed. Look. Those red eyes. He became famous overnight. I tried for my whole life and nobody takes any notice of me. <laughs> Sorry, I laughed. Sorry. You can laugh sometimes, Bernard. Yes, so. Incredible piece of engineering. Even more people. I, I love the, the, the camera, honestly, it's three to four inches. And because I got the external mic, I can't plug in the, 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 um, like the rod you put in extension handle. So it's really weird and in my big hands and really uncomfortable because my shoulder's really hurting now. But because it was breezy, I thought I'd better plug the external mic in. Otherwise, it's going to be very unpleasant for you listening to the sound going directly to the DJI Pocket 2. So that's why I've done it. Give myself shoulder aches, but I want you <laughs> to enjoy the best possible video. Day five, not the same as yesterday. All different people, probably. Will never be the same. You see? The man the other day with his five children. He looked so young and his wife. Such a lovely family. I just heard this voice saying, I've never seen a camera that small. And, and I will respond, like the young man with, with all his friends. You know, he said, are you, are you filming? And he went back, I think I told you last time, and said, I'm on something YouTube. I won't repeat the word. And they all said, what? So I never miss the opportunity of talking to people if they want to say something and obviously hand out one of my cards saying Birmingham close up. Magnificent here today. It's humid today, I have to tell you. They've been really lucky with the weather and the forecast is dry right the way through next week. So hopefully, apart from the occasional very light shower, and there was one last night, they would have survived. Isn't that amazing? Because if it were normal weather, you know, normal English weather, a lot of the events are outside, it would have been horrendous. People would have been soaked. Just a normal summer weather. So it was really high risk for our type of climate, but we got away with it. I'm just going to zoom in so you get the feeling and it has, as you know, the audio lens as if you were right in amongst the crowd Mr. Ball, I want some of the attention you're getting. I haven't had any attention for 27 years. Just, just, just one person. It's not fair. It's just my tongue-in-cheek sense of humour. Forgive me. Again, just come outside after my little drink. It's 10 to 3. Up there I've shown you before. That's where you see the presenters for the BBC going and coming. Here we are. Probably as busy as I've ever seen but well, I probably said every day great fun for the children it's a bit cloudy but it, it's very humid so 
good fun, soak up the atmosphere. That's where you can get a nice lunch, as I said earlier on, and a reasonably priced drink. Just expect um, not to pay as much as you would in other places. It's it's a nice place. It's very peaceful, relaxing. Just hit and miss on the service, as I said, but um, most of the time it's okay. And seeing how beneficial it is to all the businesses who've had a very difficult time and see all these people enjoying themselves they've come from all over the world to come to uh, our Birmingham I mean just look I will we'll never see anything like this again in my lifetime and it, it's just remarkable and I'm so proud and so happy to be part of it Look at the crowds. I'm going to cut it here and see you in Victoria Square. Then I'm going to give you some directions on two other places. Let's take a look at this, guys. <laughs> Unbelievable. If I can keep my videos maybe 20 minutes, they will upload. To YouTube maybe a little bit quicker instead of six hours. So we are going down the steps, so it might be a little bumpy. been in crowds like this but I'm kind of going against them at the moment. Paradise isn't it wonderful? Oh, this is definitely the busiest day. Help! Little doggy, really sweet. <laughs> Sorry, we have to prioritise dogs. <laughs> I, I adore them. I've been watching the gymnastics. Wonderful. And our team won the team event. And then the Scottish girl, she got the bronze medal, bless her. I think she's 24 from Scotland. First medal Scotland have ever had in the gymnastics. This young lady here, she's one of the best ones. Oh, look at these guys. As I said to you yesterday, there's always something different. Like, like, 
doesn't look as he's showing. Let's go to the next one. 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 Let's go to the next quite brutal when you want to try to get through. So the gymnastics are track. We all like, love the track events, but the gymnastics are my favorite, to be honest, men and women, what they go through is remarkable. Let's take you through the crowd. Starting to rain, the little guys. So, if you do come from the stadium into the centre, you will come here, Victoria Square. Trust me, and just walk and you are not from here just walk five minutes down here Colmore Row five minutes down here you will come to the cathedral you will come to lots of restaurants and bars and, and shops and it's very beautiful five minutes walk down there okay Colmore Row if you happen to come on the bus and you're not familiar with the area I don't really have to go through this crowd again I might go down the stairs <laughs> it is remarkable isn't it let's go through and it's come on the bowling ring. There was a goal for, uh, for James Ball for them a few days ago at the Velodrome. This is the bronze medal and it has been won by Alex Marshall and Paul Foster of Scotland. Dynamic duo and that means that uh, Alex moves ahead again as Scotland's most successful Commonwealth. Nice to see the spotlight on the Commonwealth Games again today for Birmingham. <laughs> Look at this guy. Look at the centre. Look at it. Just look at that. Oh, there is no way I'm going through there. As I said before, your food huts. Floozy up there, relaxing. Isn't it amazing? And I just wanted to give you one more piece of advice before I sign off. You're in Victoria Square. You're not familiar with the area. 
So we've just come along to Pinfold Street here. Let me just show you. Walk right down towards the end of Pinfold Street. I will see you there. So that is where you came from, Victoria Square there. Right down to the end of Pinfold Street. Grand Central over there. Okay, turn right. And this is worth a visit, trust me. Hello. Hello, how are you? Good, good. You're having a good time? Where are you from? Australia. All oh, right, okay. But you're not going to the Commonwealth Games? Uh, we had a photo taken there. <laughs> Sorry? We had our photo taken there. Oh, did you? So we were screaming in the pub. Yeah, how long are you here for? Uh, Just that today. Yeah. yeah, okay. Do you like it? Yeah. Great city, isn't it? Great yeah. fun. Yeah, lots going on. Great fun. Yeah. Come have, see you again. Have a look on Birmingham Close Up. Oh, okay. You'll be on YouTube. No worries. Take care. Yeah, yeah. All the best. Enjoy. Safe journey home. Sorry, I switched the camera off for a while to give them my card. So yes, we turn right at the end of Pinfold Street and this is worth a visit, trust me. And I'm going to switch it off soon because I don't want the video to be too long because it'll take six to eight hours to, for YouTube to allow me to post it public. And you see down there where it does say mailbox, down there at the end, where those people are that is the mailbox just bear left go into the mailbox as I said it's been decimated by unfortunately lots of shop closures over but that pandemic but it does have the BBC studios in there Harvey Nichols has some wonderful restaurants Indian street food and it also has a, a Michelin star restaurant and it will take you out to the glorious canals. So if you're not from Birmingham and you end up in Victoria Square, you now know how to get to the mailbox. See you soon guys, take care, bye bye.